Obscure or lesser known video games is something I've always been interested in. A specific type that I like to look into are obscure Japanese PC games. You can often find a lot of cool and unique releases. This video's topic of discussion is a lost Japanese video game named Noah's Ark. Now, I haven't really been an active participant in the search for this game, but I have been following its progress every now and then. I find the game itself to be really cool, at least from what we know, and I'm very interested in it. So shout out to Tusuki368 for posting about this to the Lost Media Wiki forums and also spearheading the search for this game, as well as everyone who's contributed to the search so far. So what's Noah's Ark all about? Well, prior to the beginning of the search, there were very few mentions of this game online, other than a couple of 4chan posts on the Paranormal board mentioning the game. These posts contained links to both English and Japanese versions of the game's website, giving us a brief description of the game as well as various screenshots. I'll be reading translations of the Japanese version because I feel like that has a much better description and it also provides a little more information than the English one. The mystery becomes more mysterious each time it is solved. A huge tower suddenly appears in front of the human race, which is proceeding with a plan to immigrate to Mars. Hidden there is the mystery of creation, far beyond the wisdom of mankind. The story is set in the year 2100. On the verge of environmental destruction and population explosion, human beings are proceeding with the terraforming of Mars for immigration. However, just before the plant base was completed, a huge tower suddenly appeared from the depths of the Earth. Investigation reveals that it was built approximately 5 billion years ago, and it has 7 levels inside. Who in the world left this tower, and for what purpose? In order to solve the mystery, the research team infiltrated the interior of the tower. Could Mars really be the new Noah's Ark for mankind? Sounds pretty cool, huh? The site also gives us information on various features of the game, and also a couple names on people who worked on it. Kenichi Shigeto and other leading Japanese designers created 3D CG with seven different motifs and atmospheres. Kazuhiro Nishimatsu, who is active in movies and commercials, is in charge of the music. You can enjoy speedy movement with the newly developed Pathfinder system, a unique fantasy sci-fi adventure with an epic story. Another thing we can conclude from this page is that the game was published by NEC Interchannel, as this page was on their website, and also that it was developed by Proforce System Inc as they're listed on the bottom of the page with a copyright date of 1995. While not much is said about the actual gameplay, looking at the screenshots you can tell it's some sort of point and click adventure game with maybe some puzzle solving elements to it as well. With all that information on who worked on Noah's Ark, things sound pretty promising, right? Well, it didn't turn out to be that easy. First of all, NEC Interchannel dissolved all the way back in 2010, so getting any information from them directly isn't exactly possible anymore. Tosuki 3 was able to get in contact with Kenichi Shigeru, but he didn't have anything about the game on him, nor did he have any contacts with anyone who worked at Pro Force Systems. Tosuki 3 also reached out to Shigeki Takeuchi, who was CEO of Interchannel for a time, but he never posted anything in regards to this lead again, so I'm just going to assume that he never got a response. It was also stated in the thread that Interchannel's game assets were all bought by Gung Ho in 2007, so it'd be more likely for them to have anything about Noah's Ark instead of NEC themselves. But similarly, nothing about this lead was ever brought up again in the thread, so I'm not sure if they were ever contacted and if they were, I kinda doubt they responded at all. Despite the various setbacks, however, there actually was a lot of progress made and discoveries found. A copy of the game was sold on Yahoo Auctions Japan, just a few months before the Lost Media Wiki thread was created for only 1,000 yen, which is like $10. And the thing is, Tusuki says that he already knew about the game when it was sold, he just didn't find that listing and missed out on it. This listing is apparently the only time the game has been sold online in the last 10 years or so. But at the very least, we can get a clear image of the game artwork and the disc, as well as the screenshots on the back. Pro4 System and various other games developed by them were looked into. Lost Media Wiki user Tomato Pasta listed out a bunch of Japanese magazines that could possibly be looked into for any mentions of this game. He also discovered that NEC games would consistently be featured in the magazine PC Engine Fan. However, it wasn't this exact magazine where something was found. 
on December 30th, 2021, Lost Media Wiki user Saint posted a trailer for the game online. He said that his friend was able to buy a CD which originally came with a 1996 issue of the magazine Digital Boy. This has to be the biggest discovery of the search so far. The trailer is 3 minutes and 50 seconds in length and gives us an excellent look at the gameplay and cinematics and we also get to listen to a music track from the game. Then on February 9th, 2022, Saint once again posts another great discovery. He says that his friend bought another old Japanese magazine and it had a review slash advertisement for Noah's Ark in it. This contains a few more plot details as well as an overview of each level in the game. I'll read out the translation that Saint posted. It's the 22nd century, plagued by environmental degradation, resource shortages, and overpopulation, humanity has set to constructing a base on Mars designed to have a closed environment akin to a pure Earth atmosphere. While waiting for construction to complete, suddenly a giant tower appeared, destroying the base in the process. The tower that appeared on Mars was examined to be approximately 5 billion years old, somehow 400 million years older than the birth of the solar system itself. The protagonist decides to infiltrate the tower and solve the mystery hidden inside. Noah's Ark is an interactive adventure made up of seven floors, although there is a clear difference between it and other similar games that rely more on constant puzzle solving. This great adventure makes you think of a blend of stories of Noah's Ark and 2001 A Space Odyssey, dragging the player through both future and past. Hidden in every floor are the ruins of all the worlds, deep histories of the birth of the human race and the timeline spanning up until the creation of even a new form of life. Each riddle the player solves is a key to unraveling the history of the humanity. The mystery of the creation of Earth, the secret of life, solving these will birth something new completely. You might be thinking, this seems like a pretty hard game to get into, after reading thus far. But the elaborate 3D graphics that give this world its life make the game beautiful to look at, and the new navigation system, Pathfinder system, makes it a breeze to move throughout the tower. There are also some scenes with a lot of action, so it's hard for the player to get bored. In addition to that, there are seven different companies commissioned to create design concept CG art for the game, so every floor has its own unique feel to it. An interactive adventure that hides the mystery of the creation of Earth and the creation of humanity. Noah's Ark will be available to purchase on October 5th as a hybrid CD-ROM. Now for the next page which gives us a description for each level in the game. It's the 22nd century. Humanity has been working hard on constructing a base on Mars to relocate to, but the completion was interrupted when suddenly a giant tower appeared out of the ground, boasting a pathfinder system that allows movement through videos, a story that takes you through a world with a mystical mix of ancient ruins and near future. Explore the perfected 3D graphics on floors that each have their own unique designers. Include sound by Kazuhiro Nishimatsu, who worked on the movie Crusher Joe. What is it the tower hides? Once you arrive on the 7th floor, find the surprising truth that will shake humanity to its core. Level 1. What is the purpose of this lifeless world of ice? Level 2. What will become of visiting the paradise of lies? Level 3. Search the fountain of wisdom that overflows with joy. Level 4. Break the spell of time and gain a new cycle of life. Level 5. What is the book of hope that lies within the endless library? Level 6. DNA plays a melody of the birth of life? Level 7. On the final floor, all the mysteries will be revealed. Honestly, the more details I hear about this game, the more I want to play it. The story especially sounds very intriguing. And now with these two big finds, we have a much better picture of what the game was actually like. Now, there haven't been any major breakthroughs in the search since then, but in June of 2022, Another Lost Media Wiki user, Media Monster, actually got his hands on a different game developed by Proforce Systems, Russell Life. Not only did he upload this game to the Internet Archive, so, you know, if you're interested in this one, you can maybe go check it out. He also uploaded a scan of a page in the manual, which contained various names of people who worked on it, 
which could possibly help finding people who worked at Proforce system back in the day. However, he did say that these names seem to be very generic, so it was hard finding anyone in particular. But I will say that this is still a pretty notable find and could possibly help with Noah's Ark. Anyways, that's probably where we're at when it comes to the search itself. At least this last detail I talked about is the last thing to have been posted to the thread. I do have some ideas and suggestions on some avenues we could look into. Aside from continuing what has already been done, like looking through magazines and stuff like that. Like I said, the list of names, even though it hasn't yielded any results thus far, could still be very useful in possibly finding a contact. Maybe looking through other games developed by Proforce could help as well. One aspect that I haven't really seen discussed so far is the English language version of the game. In the English version of the website that I mentioned earlier, the screenshots do show that the game was at the very least partially translated to English, and most of the games NEC Interchannel would publish were only released in Japan. So that brings the question, if Noah's Ark had an English translation, does that mean that it was possibly distributed in the United States as well? While it's possible that the English language version also released only in Japan and not in any English speaking countries, the possibility that it did would open up the search by a lot. Interchannel did collaborate with a UK based company, Bergsala, to publish their games in Europe, but this happened in the 2000s while Noah's Ark is known to have released in 1995 and the website archives are from 1998. Also, only 10 games were published under this partnership and they're all known about, so the English language release, I think it's safe to say, didn't really have anything to do with that. Something I've seen brought up is just the nature of Japanese game collecting. Apparently in Japan, game collectors sort of like to keep things for themselves, if it's more obscure or rare. So that means not even posting any sort of gameplay about it, let alone dumping the game online. This was posted to the thread, but this isn't the first time I've heard something like this, so there's probably some truth to it. So it's possible that a lot more people could have or know about Noah's Ark than we currently think, just that they don't want to post about it or talk about it online. Even if that is the case, I know that kind of doesn't really help that much directly, but it's something to be aware of while looking for these types of things. Like I said earlier, I haven't made any major contributions to the search myself. Every once in a while, I check Yahoo Japan or Mercari to see if another listing pops up, but that's about it if you even want to count that. I'm hoping that with this video I can possibly bring more attention to this game and possibly reach some knowledgeable people who would want to join the search and help out. And I know Justin Wang covered this in his Lost Media series, but that video was over a year ago. And there's a lot more information now than we had back then. Also, I find this game to be very unique and intriguing, so I think it deserves its own video. Interestingly, Noah's Ark was voted top 10 in the Lost Media Wiki Discord's vote for the 6th on the hunt search, but unfortunately, it lost in the final round of voting. Had it won, that definitely would have increased interest in the search and possibly bring new progress, but it just wasn't meant to be. Regardless of that, I'm still positive that this game has the potential to gain a lot of attention, and I'm still hopeful that one day a copy will be found and uploaded online, so we can all uncover the mystery of Noah's Ark for ourselves.